to get their cotton. Cotton simply means continue to impress her. Continue to do things to win her. Huh? Even when she has said yes, you need her to say Yes, all the time. Huh? Agree with me? Don't just marry your wife. Got no to cut her. Is she dancing or smiling? I have received their challenge. And I'll put together dinner for married people. Therefore, everyone who wants to be invited, give your name to our secretary, through my wife. I want to receive the name you will send to us, asking me to invite you and your husband you and your wife to a dinner. Once I get that list, I give you two weeks to send that list. Once I get that list, I'll put together dinner for only husband and wife. If you are a wait, if you are a bachelor, you are not allowed to come close. They don't tell a quarter to be married. They are not married until you are married. And I want you, every husband, write down only one thing you would like your wife to do better. Bring it to me. I will put, I want you to have a very useful dinner. The tab that will change your marriage and bring out the best in your wife and the best in you. And uh, before we even start the dinner, your parents in law are your substitute parents. Therefore, you must love them and care for them. Include it in the things you would like me to talk about during that dinner. Number three, that dinner you must come wearing your best dress. Best dress. And if
if you have ever beaten your wife, you must write a promise that you will never beat her again. People didn't say anything. Ah, that one I'll speak for you. If you beat your wife again, to my knowledge, I'll give up my dinner for 200 nights for God to punish you. When a woman gives marriage you, she has given her life to you. I was amazed I could drag my wife 18 times a year out of Nigeria to many parts of the world. I should not follow me. That was a big sacrifice. When a woman gives, when a woman marries you, she has given her life to you. Therefore, you must honor her. Sometimes when I hear of men, I hear of how they beat the woman God gave them. Then I cry. That should not be. I don't care how wicked your wife is. She cannot be the worst demon in New York. You must love her and celebrate her. I don't know if you know a woman's life starts, starts by 5 a.m. every morning to arrange the house, to prepare the house, to make the house ready for habitable. And she's in charge of everything in that house. The welfare of her husband, the welfare of the children, the welfare of the visitors. It's a tedious job, therefore must be celebrated. When a woman causes trouble, she does not really want trouble. She wants attention. Um, women, am I correct? My brother's wife in London slapped <coughs> her husband. My brother was so angry that he divorced her. And I said to him, yeah, marriage is not for boys, it's for men. She didn't slap you to fight. She slapped you to command your attention. And I said to him, you are not allowed to marry another girl. He fell in love with the daughter of the richest man in my clan. And ignored what I said. The day of the wedding, the father of the girl asked him, What is your uncle? What is your man? He said, The man got events all over the world. I don't know where he is. The man said, Sorry, the marriage is cancelled. He called me and said, your anointing is a wicked man's anointing. <laughs> I thought they have seen nothing yet. Even the next girl you want to marry, you will face the same problem. Go back to the first girl. He refused. The child they had, I am told, is now a multimillionaire. And the child says, all I want from my father is go back to my mother or else he will not test my money. He said the boy was speaking my voice. Is that my voice? Yes and no. <laughs> uh, I want you to love your wife. <clears throat> Even if she's a wicked woman, don't worry, she'll go to bring out the best in her. She will pamper and spoil them. and be your mother, and be your first aid mother and be your substitute mother. I don't know if you know, one woman can be a, a, your concubine, your girlfriend, your mother, and your wife. One woman. But they have to have good ears to hear their different voices in, in one woman's voice. And again, my wife will speak and she will sound like my mother. 
I've been asking her, she's here, I've been asking her, do you have really a relationship with my mother or you? Tell me, there's something about two of you I don't understand. You sound like her when you are happy. That is the question she has not answered. You want her to have that dinner? Then shout hallelujah, let me hear. Today, I want you to write down two things we want God to do for you tonight. You cannot just go. It's a miracle. You are owing all that testimony. We need to hear you and hear what God has done for you. Number three. Number three. Every pregnant woman in this hall this night, step out here to be prayed for. That baby must come out safely. That pregnancy shall not become trouble-free pregnancy. If you're pregnant, come quickly. Don't let me beg you. Just This is an opportunity you did not ask for, but you need this night. Come quickly. No, don't run. My wife is there. If you run, she will not give me breakfast on time tomorrow. Come this way now. Why are you going to my right side? My daughter, come. Are you carrying the baby or the baby is carrying you? Is your husband not here? Huh? He's here. Allow him to carry the baby while you kneel. All those who are expecting God to bless them with pregnancy, can you join them? Come quickly, come to this. I don't know why God is telling me to do what I'm doing. That is, you have a husband. You don't have a husband, don't come out. You, madam, what is your husband? Why look at that baby? What is your husband? Is he not here? He's here. But he's not here. Your first duty as a wife is to make sure your husband fellowships with you in one place. Are you hearing me? Don't leave him behind again. Two of you must hear one pastor and have one pastor. Let's say to God, you are the, can we all have, how many of you are sitting down? If you are not older than me, stand up. Don't play while you're here. If you are not older than me, stand up. Can we all say to God, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I paid your person a pass. I paid your me.
the more we are confused. You are a puzzle. That a woman could produce a child like herself. And that child shall become also a woman someday, sometime. Father, you are also. That for every pregnant woman here tonight, that baby shall be delivered safely. Every voice that speaks against any pregnancy now and here, that voice is cancelled. Every woman pregnant, every woman asking for the gift of pregnancy shall deliver the baby you bless her with safely. And that baby shall grow up to be a mother. Father, whoever is the father of this baby we're expecting can also enjoy the blessings that only children can give to their parents. In their old age, these children shall take care of them. Every child you have sent to us shall be blessed by surplus supplies of life. Father, no pregnancy shall be aborted. No woman shall die in her pregnancy. No man shall die prematurely. Every man shall live to see the fruit of that pregnancy. And every child that shall come through this pregnancy shall bring the blessings of value and speed. Whatever is missing in that family shall be supplied by this new baby. Bless each one with good help. For those who are expecting their own. Every woman that comes here shall be a mother. Every father that desires a child shall realize that dream. Therefore, bless every woman here with, with fruitfulness, with children. Every couple shall have their own child. And that child shall come to serve them and bless them and be a multiplied blessings to them. Each family should enjoy good health and uncommon good health. They will also enjoy financial surplus supplies. They will not borrow nor they beg. Beginning to now, whatever they lay their hand to do shall prosper. Father, they won't fight over money. Because you give them surplus supplies. Because you bless only those who are at peace with one another, may each family live in peace. Stop them from fighting one another. You don't bless a fighting family. Everyone who is part of our service tonight shall be singled out for honor and for blessings and for promotion and for good health and for additional or anointing and unction let the miracle start in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost can we give the clap of friends like happy people Since I met Christ in 1958, he has been everything I had desired a father to do 
for his son to me. I am talking about a father that is blessed by God with money, with wisdom, with creativity, with imagination, with resourcefulness. And I believe that this God will do the same thing for you. Take your seat. Let's go to the book of Matthew. We take chapter chapter 8. We take verse 11. No, is that correct? I'm talking about what Jesus said, come unto me. 11, 28. Matthew 11, come. 28. Come, young girl, sit down. You see the headmistress. This night will not be an ordinary night in your life, this night. All is he whose power has no measure of comparison that is begging you to come unto him. Okay? That big man who is walking like a headmaster. Can somebody ask him to sit down? I can see you bought a new dress. Once we have started preaching, no more movement again. Let's honor this God. Let's respect Him. God does not perform miracles where people have no respect for Him. He that gave His life for you, that you may find your sin, your weakness, and fight your poverty and fight your sickness. Jesus came that you may overcome your sickness and your poverty and your sins. He came that you may be taken back to the Garden of Eden where Adam and Eve did not fight over any problem. God bless them beyond measure. God gave them water he gave them gold he gave them silver they lacked nothing god when adam disobeyed him he brought jesus to restore us back to the life of eden and now where you are this night god's plan is to take you back to eden a place of comfort. And you are struggling, and you are struggling in your life. You don't seem to have peace and harmony. Your sleep at night is not a comfortable, pleasurable sleep. The enemy won't let you enjoy your sleep. Come, who are those two people again going up and down? Are you lovers or husband and wife? Can you sit down? I don't like members of fellowship coming to fellowship late. And they walk in as they are the commanders in chief. That's arrogance. That's pride. And God does not do business with the arrogant and the proud. Read on, sir. He come said, on. Come unto me. All ye that labor. He says, Whoever is struggling in his life, come unto me. Do I have anybody here tonight that struggles in his own life? Nothing you lay your hand to do seems to prosper. Things are never, never in an organized manner around you. 
The enemy attacks you from every flank. And you are just tired of that. You want a change. Can you have raise up your hand? Let me see. Raise it very well. This is your night. Your lamentation will become laughter. Your disgrace will become grace. Your disappointment will become supernatural appointment. Those who mock you shall now celebrate you. He says, come unto me. The maker of heaven and earth says, come unto me. He whose power has no measure, he says, come unto me. He to whom nothing is impossible, he says, come unto me. Peter struggled to catch one fish, could not catch any. And the master stepped into his boat and asked him, can I use your boat to preach? And he gave out his boat. And he gave out his boat. When he had finished using that boat, he then addressed Peter's need and said to Peter, Lower your need. Our problem here is that Peter did not know who he was. Who is that man? Is that a woman or a man? It's a woman. It's a man. A woman. Are you looking for your husband? Or I want to show us your new dress. This is the wrong time we are connected to God. We can't see that dress well until tomorrow. Men and brethren. It is possible to sit in this service today and not know you are doing business with the maker of heaven and earth. Peter did not really understand who Jesus was. <laughs> I was in Abakleke 18 years ago and I said to the crowd, I said to the elders of the church, very soon your son shall become the governor of this state. Another son shall become Secretary to government of the day. These are your dirty roads shall become double carriage road. The chief got up and said to me, don't you think you're telling us a lie? We don't have money with which to that will turn this my bachelor house into a map house. Okay? I'm not talking about your son wiping away your tears. I said that God that brought me to be your preacher today will turn this your house around. <laughs> he said, <laughs> okay, you look more like a liar. Me. I said, okay, let's see. Two months after Dr. Ebu became the governor of the state, that road I referred to became double carriage road. I don't know what you think will happen in your life tonight. Because this God has interest in you. He's interested in your life. He's even interested in what your enemies have said against you. When he will arise, your enemies will be scattered. And this night he will arise. He will arise. Come on, raise your hand and shout hallelujah somebody. Your enemies are free to say what they like. My uncle said to me, you will be the poorest of the poor. For accepting to follow Jesus. I am the God of this family. 
uncle, if you are the god of the family, then we have no tomorrow. We have no future. You don't have a good car. You don't have a good house. Great to her now. Have I been calling you, sir? Uncle, it's not late to call me, sir. Me, I will accept. This is my wife and girl. Ask me, how can your mother's junior brother call you, sir? Hey, madam, in the battle of life, everything is a weapon, including your shoes. <laughs> awesome God. He says, all those who labor, that is, all those that the enemy will not allow them to reach their appointed place in life, all those that Satan hates, your enemies hate you also. He said, what? Well, come. What? Come. What will happen? Huh? I'll give you rest. Ami moyo, ami kwe. Ami moyo, mami moyo, mami moyo, mami kwe. Ami wo eche eche chora. Ami moyo, mami kwe. Ami wo eche eche chora. Ami moyo, mami kwe.
Your God and maker, your father, wants you whole. Every sickness that has a name has to leave you alone. Every marine spirit trying to make your life difficult is now commanded to leave you alone. Whatever must leave you alone tonight. Jesus came that you may fulfill the purpose of your creation. What you were, whatever you were created to achieve, shall be achieved this night. Every obstacle on your way shall be taken out of the way. Right where you are. Peace that passes every understanding shall be given to you. That sin that will not leave you alone. And you see yourself offend God and ridicule God and mock God. You rise above your weakness. Your life will make God happy. This God shall fight every sickness that has an enemy in your body. And the amazing thing that God will speak health into your life with casual ease. Can we see? Take your seat. Let's see the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 6. But such as I have, but give such I as I have, you. give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't know whether you know the name of Jesus has such power. It compels your enemies to get out of I have power with the name of Jesus. And right where you are, your own hand is a healing hand. Whatever there is sickness in your life, if you place your hand there, that sickness will leave you alone. It has worked for me repeatedly and over time. And will work for you tonight. Let's see the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 18. Mark 16, 18. These signs, sh signs shall follow them that believe. In my name. All those who believe in the name of Jesus, you believe that Jesus came because of you. You believe that he came to wipe away your tears. He came to fight your battles for you. You are no longer an ordinary person. At the, name of, at the mention of the name of Jesus, your enemies will get out of the way. Demons. They shall speak with new tongues. When you speak with new tongues, you will be calling for reinforcement from the commander in chief. And heaven shall come to your aid and fight for you. Read on, sir. They shall take up serpents. You will take up serpents and shall not hurt you. And leave the drink any deadly thing. If you drink any poison, any charm, it shall not hurt you. You will continue with your journey. They shall lay hands on the sick. It is upon you. You will lay your hand on yourself, and that sickness will leave you alone. God said this with a touch of finality and a hint of conclusion and a measure of authority. God did not say maybe or sometime. No, he says with great assurance.
Therefore, all your problems are in trouble. They are in trouble. They are in trouble. And this God will turn your lamentation into laughter. What the enemy used to block your road shall get out of the way. Beginning tonight, whoever calls you to appear before any altar, you will not appear. Can we see the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17? Isaiah 54 17. No weapon. Can somebody shout and say no weapon? No Sharpened against me. Shall prosper. No, say it with a touch of say with an authority. stone thrown at you they have become your stepping stone to greatness yeah. shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise every tongue that rises up to judge you shall condemn shall be condemned by you yeah. I declare that that voice condemned already. Amen. Jesus came that he may partner with you as you walk through life. You will not be alone. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be by your side. This night, he will bless you with creativity and imagination. Wisdom is the ability to know how to turn one naira into two naira. And such people will never lack money. They will not borrow money. They will not owe money. And Jesus. There was a fish. And the fish was carrying money. That God is your God. When you don't know what to do, God will show you what to do. And this night I'm going to ask God, whatever is blocking your way, be taken away now. Any sickness hiding anywhere shall leave you alone. Read on, sir. We are back to the book of Matthew, chapter what? 11, verse 28. Come unto me. Come unto me. All ye that labor. All ye that labor and, and are heavily laden. And I will give you rest. Your Savior and Master is here tonight to bless you with favor, bless you with peace. Wow. Wow. And Peter said to Jesus, If you are really he that I know, my master and savior, ask me to step into the boat and walk on water. What did he say to him? He said, Come. Right where you were, what was impossible yesterday shall not be impossible again today. I want those who would like to make peace with Jesus and become born again. I want those who want to know Jesus personally and intimately and experientially and empirically and livingly. You want to know him personally and intimately. You want to be a born again child of God. You want him to step into your life and be part of your life. You want him to give you power to be his child. 
if you're here and you don't have the assurance of your salvation you don't have the joy of your salvation you don't have the assurance that you are a born again child of god can you stand up and come out here now i'll pray for you that this jesus will step into your life become part of your life become ruler of your life come quickly come quickly say Lord Jesus come into my heart as my Lord my Savior my Redeemer grant me the assurance of my salvation write my name in the book of life Father cleanse me for all my sins may I love you every day Put a mark upon my forehead and declare me your child. Father, as your child, whatever I will ask you to do for me, do those things. Beginning now, I am yours. I am your child and son. Bless me with assurance of my salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost everybody say Amen, amen. Father beginning tonight all these people shall enjoy peace they will enjoy healing sleep amen. when they go to bed your presence your peculiar concentrated presence shall be with them amen. and you fight their every enemy I declare them your children. Amen. The blessings of those who are your children shall go with them. Amen. As long as they live on earth. Amen. When time shall time no more for them. May they meet you livingly. 
May you take them to your home and give each one here a house of his own. Father, do it and do more by asking Jesus' name. You can stand up and collect your platform. No, not platform. Your, your redemption form. As you go, you are now Okay, don't be in a hurry now. Why not they run? Are you a Russian? Father, as they go from here, may there be evidence every day that they are your children. Father, fight all their battles for them. Be their God and maker. Let the miracle start today. And will last through eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You can go back to your seat. Let's give them a good clap offering. Everybody, can we all stand up? Lay your hand where you have sickness. We lay your hand where you have affliction. Lay your hand where the enemy has been troubling you. And take only three minutes and command that spirit to leave you alone. Now, can we all pray? Let's pray. Everybody, lay your hand where you have your problem. Your hand is a healing hand. I want you to believe in God's ability to heal you. To set you free. To make you whole. To make your life profitable. Yes. cease to exist father the enemy has no power anymore to afflict anyone with sickness or disease I demand the healing it shall be total healing it shall be implicit healing father I speak against the voice that speaks against any one of them that voice shall speak no more. Amen. That pain shall hide no more. Amen. For I move from family to family, from person to person, and declare them all healed. Amen. Healed. Amen. Healed. Amen. Healed. Amen. For I set your people free. Amen. Every sickness in the eyes. Whatever any sickness may be, somebody help, somebody help us, somebody help us. All those who are harassed by marine spirits, I demand the freedom. I command the freedom. I demand the freedom. 
Let them be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Father, the enemy has lost the right to harass anyone here. Let each one enjoy peace that passes all understanding. May they, be, may they have peace on every side of life. Their sleep tonight shall be healing sleep. They woke up refreshed, reanointed, repositioned. Be empowered even as I speak what was against them has left them alone it shall be so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost Amen Men and brethren, the, the, the force that produces miracles is the force that comes from heaven. It is almost indescribable. You have no way of really describing how God will make you whole and make you healed. But when you are healed, you will know. When the pain is gone, you will know. All those who know that they know that they know this God has taken away their sickness from them, their affliction from them, their humiliation from them, their ridicule from them, step out here. I'll cover your miracle and testimony with a word of prayer. You may do hiding anywhere to manipulate anybody here has failed Declare you healed. Amen. Completely healed. Amen. Totally healed. Amen. Please, beginning tonight, God will fill your life with happiness. Amen. You owe yourself happiness. Amen. And God will make you a happy person. And when you go to bed, no spirit has a right to stop you from sleeping.
listening tonight, you will worry no more about anything. You would enjoy a life of fullness, a life of happiness, a life of joy, a life of excitement. You will be the envy of your enemies. When they see you happy, they will get angry. But the No. I have said today, every stone the enemy shall throw at you will become your own stepping stone to greatness. No demon has a right to molest you anymore. You are now trouble free. Sickness free. It shall be so. And beginning tonight, God will bless you with financial surplus supplies. A post bearer and angel shall be sent to follow you. Whenever you run out of money, he will give you money. There are destiny helpers called by God to follow you. They will bless you with financial blessings. This God will not, anybody, will not allow anybody to insult you. You will be a child of dignity, a child of honor, a child of blessings. And you will lack nothing anymore. Please don't condemn yourself again. Don't say again, I'm an unlucky person. You are not. You are a child blessed beyond measure. And it shall be so. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You can go back to your seats. Jesus said, "The Amamu, Amema Mandi Sanga Yenye, Akanana Eni Bianga Kenyo, Amema Mandi Sanga Yenye, Hallelujah." Jesus said, "The Amamu, Amema Mandi Sanga Yenye, Akanana Eni Bianga Kenyo."
Is there anybody who has danced more than you ever have danced today? You enjoyed the worship today. And you danced like you have never done before. Raise your hand and shout hallelujah. Next Wednesday, the zone that will generate and produce the largest number of people. Father, may you honor the prayer in Jesus' name. I want you to raise up your hand and declare, I am blessed. Difficult things will not become easy for me. Whatever I lay my hand to do shall prosper. Every eye that sees me shall know that I am blessed. Beginning tonight, I will receive favor with man and with God. This shall be my greatest year. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Whatever you are, raise up your hand and just thank the Lord for this night. Chairman, what is our chairman? Come and uh, dismiss us. Remember, the zone that shall produce the largest number of members will go home with a beautiful car. But now raise your hand and just thank the Lord and bless him. And tell him whatever he had done tonight shall be permanent. Can we pray? Can we bless him? Open your mouth, thank God.